Hare Krishna. Today we are going to discuss how to get peace of mind. We are living in the society in the modern age. We receive everything with some cost. We have to pay some cost for getting anything. Similarly, peace, to get peace of mind, we have to pay the cost. Like for example, if you go to market and buy some product, we have to pay some amount. So similarly, for peace of mind, we have to pay. And the cost is knowledge. We are living in the ignorance. We are considering ourselves as a doer in one sense. Our perception of knowledge upgrade us from the ignorance. So knowledge about self, knowledge about activity, knowledge about doer, knowledge about scriptures help us and will assist us to get the peace of mind. So, about the mind perceptive, we are in the ignorance and we, cons we do consider ourselves as the doer, but from the scripture point of view, we are not doer. Bhagavad Gita says, Prakate kriya marani gune karmani sarvasha aham ka vimur atma karta hamiti manyate. The embodied soul, due to the false ego, consider himself as a doer, but unfortunately he is not doer. So if he is not doer, then why is suffering? Because of false ego. The embodied soul, due to false ego, consider himself as a body, that is a false ego. Consider himself as a body, identify as an American, Indian, engineer, doctor, similarly doer of activity. You will understand that he is not uh, this body, is not, is not the cause of suffering, he will understand this. So, this is very important to understand the knowledge about self. So, how does it all things work? That is the question. <coughs> so, Krishna explained in Bhagavad Gita that the soul only he soul can desire can make a desire, and it is up to Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, whether he sanction his desire to full be fulfilled or not. If he sanction, then the material nature make arrangement to fulfill the soul's desire. So this way, soul sometimes wants to be happy and sometimes wants to be distressed. So, how, so the, in this way, souls sometimes get the happiness, sometimes frustration zone. And due to his desire only, he get happiness and distress. So, if one understand the science, the principle of Krishna and uh, connection between material nature and uh, soul, then by practicing on this way, his, he will get the conviction that he is not doer. Sometimes, suppose you are in frustration. So, in this period, you can understand that how I am not doer. My body is doing, my mind is doing, my true intelligence. In the Katha Upanishad, there is a hierarchy about the mind and connection between soul and body. Soul is as a person sitting on the chariot and intelligence is the driver, mind is a rope and senses are horses. 
So, we can assume, we can understand from here that soul as a sitting person, passenger, is not is not riding his chariot. Intelligence is driving mind through mind. So, if we analyze, we met, we contemplate on this figure, we understand. Yes, we are not doer, but we can redirect the chariot by instructing to intelligence. This is the way to be in the mode of goodness and peace of to get the peace of mind. Hare Krishna.